everybody, welcome to Dead Reckoning TV. It's honor of the pig. I am Jay Friesen. I'm Brian Madison, and really we're honoring fish today, aren't we? Oh, man. You know... If pig, I was a little girl right now, I'd be looking at this plate going, OMG! I mean, look pig, at that. Pig is representative of food as a whole. There's bacon on here. We're taste testing. We're taste testing today. We're looking at uh, Nara Sushi's Rollin' Red. That would be Nara Sushi, N A R A, -A Billings, located Montana. in Billings, Montana. Um, Best wildly, sushi place in town. Wildly delicious. Best sushi place in town. Day does an amazing job. This is his own creation, and as you can see here, it's got a pretty fantastic presentation. Um, it's amazing. In terms of everything. So what do we have here, Brian? We have. I don't know. You tell me. I, we it have. Looks like sushi rolls. Right. Ch We've got sushi, sushi roll. rolls, kind of all laid out, nice and neat. It's uh, spicy tuna, jalapeno, and cream cheese on the inside <laughs> with avocado, sesame seeds outside with lobster and bacon. And the lobster is deep fried as well. The sauces are a volcano sauce, spicy teriyaki, and sriracha. Um, does that sound like heaven on a plate? I mean, if I was a Gnostic, if I like thought that the material world was evil and everything, this would be a very ungodly dish. You know, that's but I'm funny, not. That's a funny comment. I'm not a Gnostic. I'm a Christian. I believe that everything that God created is very good, and that looks very good. Yeah, and so the funny part about this dish is he's got two of them that are a little bit, uh, a little bit. They depart from traditional sushi altogether. This is one of them. The other one is calls, um, a, uh, not Days Benedict. That's my name for it. Um, eggs. Dos, dos eggies. Dos eggies. Yeah. Dos eggies. And what it's you something do with that? similar. It's got a similar style. But obviously the thing has got two eggs, um, two fried eggs over the top of it. I will say this now, too, uh, too about about Nara and and Day and his and his sushi. One of the things that I mean, classical sushi, um, you know, a sushi roll is designed to be. It's it's just one bite. Day is renowned for really big sushi rolls. Huge if you go to Nara, rolls. you're gonna be taking bites because I'm telling you, this guy packs in the quality i'm telling right you, it's amazing. and so that the part another departure that i think is kind of funny is he, it's no no soy sauce no wasabi right. no soy sauce or ginger on that right i mean it's forks yeah it's forks you can't actually eat this with chopsticks i mean you just make a mess of it so try it oh, no no I will, I will i've had this be i've had this before several times in fact i've never had this. it's not a dish for one person i mean if you're a big person a large person that loves to eat <laughs> by all means there's no way you can I, eat all that um, oh, we have I paired have this. We have paired this with a Big Sky Brewing Powder Hound Winter, winter ale. ale, which I think I think the hoppiness of this <coughs> this, is, this Winter Ale strikes me as almost IPA ish, and it's in terms of its mm -hmm. of its hops, but without some of the bad IPA sort of flavors. Yeah, I think that's going <coughs> to pair really well with this. So okay, I'm gonna. I, I mean, I don't know how to how to do this. Just cut just cut it into like a fork. Just get in just, there. Just get there in you there. Go. Just get in there. Come get on, there. work it. Work it. Cut into that roll there. I want some of that lobster. Mm. I want some of that lobster. He's got avocado mm -hmm. there. He's got a he's got a homemade tempura okay. batter okay. that they use there. Does it explode? Does the flavor just kind of explode in your mouth? Mm. That is so good. All of the flavors. I mean, there's there's just a lot of flavors in there. Mixing, what mixing you? beautifully. Mm. Nothing particularly jumps out, but I mm -hmm. can taste some really nice accents. The cream cheese. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of kick from the jalapeno, the, heat. the volcano, and spicy sauce. I get the heat. Mm -hmm. The tuna <laughs> is so mild. I mean, it is like. Do you think it's covered? Do you think it gets covered up a little bit? I mean, I can taste it. But I'm just wondering well, if, if you can taste it, it's not covered up. So, I mean, I, I don't... I guess no, I actually like, like it. It's mild. There's nothing fishy about it. It's excellent tuna. The bacon is a fantastic... Bas no, bacon his is fish... Great. His fish is pretty phenomenal. Um, um, lobster is probably too, too mild um, flavor-wise to put into something that's this explosively powerful with the sauces and stuff. Because I'm tasting the batter, but mm. you know, the lobster itself has lost a bit. Mm. I like that lobster, ma'am. That's what does it for me, though. Okay. So I would own. I think lobster there's enough. Lobster on this is actually a texture thing more than anything else. Exactly. Right. That texture, the way the it it yeah. crunches. Um, so I kind of, but I think mm. I think there's plenty of flavor. There's plenty of lobster flavor oh, there. Man, that is so good. 
Oh, it's delicious. Well, so um, this will this will run you about eighteen ninety five. And again, in my opinion, it most it definitely feeds. Um, oh, that'll be two feeds people. Two people. Easily, yeah. It's uh, it probably a good community dish if you're out there. You want some other stuff to go with it. Um, he can serve this kind of off the cuff. It's not on the menu. Um, but if you have to go there and it's a little See, bit busy, he we, can still punch this we, out for you. We can you. go off menu because Jay, Jay's a big... Um, well, here's here's my tip for you. He's a big you. fan of Na Roth, and so Jay knows that. Yeah, here's my here's my tip for you, and I put this on Yelp. Um, I like I like to review these things on Yelp. This is a five-star sushi place, and uh, my tip for you is don't, don't order anything off the menu. Just ask Day to make you something, um, and he will choose kind of the chef's... Uh, Chef's choice. Chef's choice, mm-hmm. and it's I've never ever been wrong. Oh, I got um, money here. Hmm. What he said. So there's your uh, there's our dead reckoning. There's our uh, dead reckoning in honor of the pig for today. Uh-huh. Day's rolling red sushi roll. Rolling red sushi. Rolling roll? red. Rolling red. Rolling red. Now um, I want you to pair that with with your beer did. and tell me tell, tell me what you think of the beer though. Great combination because. Um, I agree. Some of the flavors in here, I'm not sure what it is, actually offset the hoppiness of the beer pretty well. You wouldn't want to have this with a very mild beer. It would still taste pretty good, though, with like an Asahi or, or a Sapporo or something, you know, kind of a Japanese. Yeah, traditional Japanese beer, right. Um, but it's, mm. it's just delicious. This is a terrific idea. So not raw sushi, Billings, Montana. If you ever make it to Billings, oh, Montana, it's a great. I know that it sounds weird for some of our viewers um, that we would have like a five star sushi place in Billings, Montana. I mean, we're a little bit off the beaten path. Well, and the funny not thing near, is they're not Koreans. near the coast. Yeah, they, yeah, they're Korean. Uh, it's a family run, family run in a business. landlocked state. Family run business, Koreans in a landlocked state, but they fly their uh, seafood in fresh and um, and it shows. It's. Uh, it's Exquisite. delicious, Exquisite. and the you know again the beer is a uh, winter a- uh, the Powderhound Winter Ale from Big Sky Brewing. It's Missoula, a Montana. It's a lighter colored ale. Um, it's a little bit you know I, it's got some hoppiness to it, some mm-hmm. IPA ness, um, yeah. but it's definitely not an IPA. It's definitely an ale. Um, <clears throat> it's got some good flavor. It doesn't the hops don't overpower you, but the hops are dialed so far back when you bite into this that it it makes it a perfect. I mean, it's it a accents. great combo. Yeah, yeah, the beer the beer has a wonderfully clean finish to it. I mean, one of the things that I really like about it right off the bat is that there's just no weird aftertaste to it. It's just crisp. It's clean. It's uh, I could drink this in the just, summer. Yeah, re, yeah, winter ale. I mean, who are they kidding? They had to be making this year round, right? Because it's it's uh, phenomenal. It's with it. So day, you know, day likes explosive sushi. He likes it to explode in your mouth. Um, and here's here's your little uh, fun fact tidbit for the day. Day catered my wedding. Day and his dad. They catered my wedding with their sushi. You did a bunch. You did a sushi wedding. It's pretty phenomenal. You're pretty hip. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's that good. mustache. It is that mustache. I'm All Jay right. Friesen. I'm Brian Matson. And this is Dead Record.